Welcome back friends, uh, this is the session 4 as continuation for our topic of cases exchange and expression. The first seated in this session, I am Dr. Ambrello from Mumbi University of Health and Allied Science. We are continuing with the gaseous exchange in mammals. And today we are going to start uh, discussing the structure of respiratory surfaces. So as we know, when we are talking of respiratory surfaces, it is the site in the body where the gaseous exchange actually, actually happens. So as we know, we have the nostrils, which tend to allow the passage of uh, gases from outside into the lungs. We have the bronchioles and different things like that, other supporting structures which allow the gases to pass from outside into the lungs. But the lungs themselves, it is where actual process of gaseous exchange takes place. So the place or uh, location organ in the body where gaseous exchange takes place is what we call the respiratory surface, respiratory surface. So in the previous session we discussed about the concept of um, about the concept of um, respiratory pigments and in this session uh, we are continuing with the respiratory surface. So for human being the respiratory surface is the ear lungs and we will go to discuss or to go in detail about the lungs and uh, some of the anatomy and things like that. So the respiratory surface uh, of a mammal consists of many air sacs called the alveoli inside a pair of lungs. They consist of many sacs called the alveoli inside a pair of lungs. So where actual gaseous exchange takes place it is in the alveolar sac or in the alveoli. But the alveoli, they are present in the lungs. That's why if you ask the question about the about the uh, respiratory surface of human being, uh, you can't answer is alveoli, but you answer the lungs. That is because the alveoli they are present in the they are present in the in the lungs. So, uh, what we are saying, um, the lungs are situated next to the heart in the thoracic cavity. And the heart uh, and are connected to the atmosphere by tubes, so that the the anatomy, that the anatomy of the the lungs, as I told you that we we start uh, discussing with the the anatomy of the lungs also. When we are saying anatomy, anatomy is the structure, how a certain a certain uh, organ in the body may be, it it is composed of, anatomy ni mundo where the physiology is the study of the functioning of the structure. So knowing that the, the, the lungs, they are next to the heart, is the anatomy of the lungs. Because you know the anatomical location. Where are they located in the body? So air passes into the lungs through these tubes, which are, are trachea. Also, we have the Twelve pairs of bony ribs, which surround and protect the lungs and the heart altogether. Also, we have what we call the, the, the intercostal muscles. Intercostal muscles are attached to the ribs. Intercostal muscles they are attached to the ribs, and allow, uh, we have a large diaphragm separates the thorax from the abdomen. These are involved in the ventilation mechanism. Kwa hiyo tunavusikia intercostal muscles manake katikati ambavu moja one rib in between one rib and another the la muscles katikati ambavu moja na ingine kuna muscles Easy muscles ndazinaitua intercostal muscles and all of these intercostal muscles they aid in the process of ventilation for your level it's not so much important for you to know how each of these muscles uh, help inspiration and expression 
lakini pia tuna diaphragm ambayo pia inasaidia the process of ventilation in in human being so as we are continuing with the with the anatomy of the respiratory system air enter the body through two noses ko nostri ni aya matundo ya pua nostri air enter the body through nostri ni aya matundo ya pua each of which possesses a border of large hairs which trap particles ko kiangalia pwani kuna kwa kama kuna hairs they tend to trap particles in air and filter them out of the system cause it trap the particles unaweza kukuta sometimes if the the particles they contain are uh, inflammatory materials mtu anapiga chafya kuna kupiga chafya kunasaidia ku remove the particles going the outside the, the body while passing through the na- nasal passage the air is warmed and moistened and it is odor is detected kwa hiyo uh, ni some of your all level questions uliko na ulizo kwamba why it is it is best to uh, respire through the nose and not the mouth it is because of the presence of hairs presence of hairs in a, in a, in, a, in a trap particles also we have the warming effect when the air passes through the nose it is warmed so the warm, warming of air inasaidia katika uh, gases exchange yake kule iwe rais kwa exchange in pia the air is warmed and moistened and na joko mba the, the gases exchange occur this is exchange occur in the moist surface so the air being moist and simplified is the process of gases exchange and this order is detected kwa harufu ya ile air unaweza kai detect ya pompo ile kwa inapita so maana kama mtu anayevuta hiyo kwa mdomo you can't detect the odor can't detect the odor if you don't believe lazima if you don't believe jaribu kuua olfactory olfactory receptors olfactory receptors kwenye pua afuone nini ambacho kitatokea so ah uh, hizo ni kwa ni, ni tunaendelea na anatomy of the, of the lungs so what you are saying ni kwamba air passing from the nasal passage through the pharynx and into the trachea this is the tube which lies in front of the esophagus and extends into the thoracic cavity kuna tunasoma kwenye embryology mtoto anapokuwa anatengenezwa trachea inatoka wapi kwenye esophagus kwa trachea trachea inatokana na esophagus ndio maana hii yenyewe iko mbele ya esophagus kwa hiyo kuna kipande hapa juu ambacho kinaitwa pharynx pharynx ni kama mambo tunako tuna na meza chakula pia hata hewa unayovuta lazima ipite hapo kwenye kwenye phoenix and most of you are from your all level from your all level biology you know what is it you know what is phoenix so tunachosema ni kwamba tunachosema ni kwamba this is the tube tunapozungumzia trachea trachea this is the tube which lies in front of the esophagus and extends into the thoracic cavity The wall of the tube is strengthened and held open by horizontal arranged C-shaped bands of cartilage. Kwa hiyo itrakea yenyewe inakuwa na C-shaped bands of cartilage. The open section of C is next to the esophagus. So manake ile open ya C iko nyuma mako ni kwenye esophagus. The cartilage prevents C collapse of the tube during inspiration yani breathing in kwa hiyo hiyo si shaped cartilage eh si shaped cartilage pamoja na kazi yake ku prevent collapse of the tube during inspiration hiyo lazima unajua kwamba cartilage that trachea they are si shaped kuja kuna kwenye kwenye storage ni kitu muhimu sana hicho lakini for your level ndokyo tu kuelewa kuishi hapo so it is the lower end the trachea split into bronchi split into bronchi within the lungs each bronchus subdivides many times into much smaller tubes called bronchioles these in turn branch into finer and finer tubes ending with the alveolar ducts which lead into sacs called alveolar sacs into each alveolar sacs 
opens a group of alveolus so unaona tumeanzia kwenye nostri tumekuja kwenye pharynx kwenye trachea trachea tumeenda kwenye bronchi tumeenda kwenye kwenye bronchioles tukitoka kwenye bronchioles tunaenda kwenye nini alveolo ducts then alveolo sacs then kuna alveolus so that is the the organization of the respiratory system pia kama ambavyo tutaenda kuona kwenye maelezo kwa mbele zaidi so the wall of most of the respiratory passage aligned with the ciliated epithelial cells and goblet cell which secrete mucus ciliated epithelial cell and goblet cell and this um, type of uh, epithelium it is called the pseudo stratified columnar epithelium pseudo stratified columnar epithelium so the, the the goblet cell they tend to secrete mucus and the, the function of mucus what it does in the respiratory system we discuss the we discuss it later so the cilia the cilia in ciliated epithelium and the mucus from goblet cell are system cleaning elements they are called a system cleaning element so in our next page you shall see how these are functioning in the respiratory system so uh, as how we have said that the the cilia and the mucus they are system cleaning elements and as i told you that uh, we will be explaining what is the function of each so mucus tend to trap any particle mucus they trap any particle such as dusty and bacteria that have managed to pass through the hair of nostril so some of the particles which are small and bacteria they they, they pass through the hair and nostril so they are trapped by nucleus and after being trapped by mucus mucus it just a trap ko inakamata yenye nakaka magundi lakini the beating of cilia and the, uh, the the beating of cilia then carries the trapped particles to the back to the buccal cavity where the mucus is swallowed kwa hiyo hii mucus inayozungumzia ndio makamasi mucus ndio makamasi also the mucus function to moisten the, the incoming air incoming air kwa makamasi ndio maana kuna kuna mtu kuna wakati mtu anaweza aka akapiga banja baada ya hapo yale makozi akayameza sababu gani maana kuni kupiga banja makamasi yale ametoka kwenye respiratory system yametoka nje mtu anaswalo sasa anaenda kwenye stomach kwa tafsiri yake ni kwamba pale kupiga banja sina maana ndio beating action ya Syria no beating action ya Syria ni kawaida tunaona uh, kwa kawaida kabisa hata mtu uh, akina ni akiwa na kitu labda anaona kama kina akivuta anavuta oh, anavuta makozi kama ni ana mafua anavuta anavuta makozi unaona anavuta afakisha yavuta labda anayatema kule kuyavuta maana yake anatumia nguvu actually that is not the beating action of Syria lakini kuna wakati uh, pathological condition mtu akiwa na umoja mafua unakuta kamasi inatoka tu zenyewe hiyo ni pathological sasa hiyo tunaita rhinitis mambo ya kukuta homa na nini hizo ni pathological condition lakini kwa kawaida kabisa hakuna mtu ambaye anakuwa hana kamasi hata kidogo kamasi zinakuwa ile zinakuwa chache na ndio maana zikiwa chache maana beating action ya Syria ikizipandisha juzi kimi, ata, ata kama ukimeza unakuwa hata haujui kwa umemeza na zina ubaya wote ni hapo kuna uchafu wote because hizo kama ni bacteria nini zikifika kwenye stomach zinawawa na acid maisha mengine ana yanaendelea and this mechanism alitengeneza mungu kwa hizo kasema kwamba unamezaje sama kama sa no it is this mechanism ambayo ni mungu mwenyewe ndio aliweka hiyo so uh, i am continuing explaining about the explaining about the, 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 the beating action of, of Syria kwamba yenyewe ina inachukua zile mucus na kuzurudisha kwenye alimentary canal so note that Syria does not trap dust particles and do not confuse them with hairs in the nose so dust particles as you trap nani na Syria Syria zenyewe zinafanya kazi tu ya ku beat zile particles na kuzitoa nje ila 
yenyewe hazifanyi kazi ya kutrap na here we have the table hii table inaonyesha summary of structures different structures ambazo uh, ziko kwenye kwenye respiratory system unaona tumeanza na track ya two bronchi bronchioles over duct over sac over na huku juu tuna uh, structures hizi ni parts of respiratory system huku ni feature za kwa mfano cartilage uh, ciliated epithelium and gobit cell smooth muscle na hapa connective tissue with elastic fiber and collagen kwa unaona kwenye trachea kuna vyote hivi kati ipo lakini tunavyoshuka kwenda kwenye two bronchi vyote pia vipo kati leji lakini tunavyoenda kwenye bronchioles kati leji gradually lost inaanza kupotea kati leji haita ah huku huku mbele haita kiko bronchioles hapa kati leji inaanza kupotea ila hivi striated epithelium ipo smooth muscle ipo na hapa kuna tissue Kwa hivyo ni alveolar duct cartilage na na hizo goblet cells zinapotea. Inabakia nini? Smooth muscle pamoja na collagen fiber. Lakini alveolar sac inabakia cartilage a uh, smooth muscle pamoja na fiber. Kwenye alveolar sac alveolus yenyewe inabakia tu connective tissue with elastic fiber and collagen. Smooth muscle zipo kwenye alveolar sac ni very little very little. Kwa hiyo a uh, ini important kujua kujua uh, organization kwa sababu hapa unaona kuanzia unaona ni important kujua kwa sababu hii itakusaidia sana. Kuanzia hapa kuanzia hapa kwenye bronchioles kushuka chini huku tunakuita ni ndio respiratory surfaces yenyewe ni huku chini kwa huku juu huku huku juu huku huku juu huku 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 tunaita ni conducting portion huku conducting portion maana kwenye kuna pitisha gas kuja huku chini lakini no gases exchange takes place huku chini kuna gas exchange huku kuna gases exchange kabisa inatokea kwa ni difference kwa nini gases exchange huku chini inatokea huku juu itokee kwa sababu ya is features. Unaona kwa mfano kwenye alveolus ambako this is exchange in max. Hata smooth muscle tu ni azip. Kuna collagen tu na connective tissue. Smooth muscle azip. Hii haipo hii haipo. Kwa hiyo uh, that is very important for you to know. Ni very important for you to know kwa sababu itakusaidia kwenye kwenye kuelewa concept mbalimbali. Lakini e unaweza usiulize kwenye mtihani moja kwa moja lakini it is important for you for you to know so kutoka kwenye hiyo table ukiona imeandikwa x means hicho kitu hakipo x means no so unaweza kuta no cartilage in first column and in second column means no cilia no gobit cell sio no cartilage tena kwenye first column ni no cartilage second column maana ke x ikiwa hapa na hapa x ikiwa hapa na hapa no cilia no cartilage no goblet cell x ikiwa peke yake no cilia no goblet cell in alveolar the la squamous epithelium with liquid surface and blood capillaries and and on the outer surface kwa kwenye alveolar si kwenye kuna uh, squamous epithelium na E, kama uliangalia session zangu za nutrition tuko naelezea kwa nini squamous epithelium iko kwenye alveolus because it is squamous squamous means flat so if it is flat that means it allows uh, being flat it allows this is excellent to take place faster we have the, the diagram here we have the diagram here uh, which can help us to learn how these structures which we are we are talking about they are arranged in the in the body so in the diagram ya yale maelezo yote ambayo ilikuwa ipo kwenye table na unaweza kaiona hii diagram eh unaweza kaiona tu hapo kama unaweza usione vizuri sana lakini i hope unaona nini ambacho tuna tunakielezea hapo so um 
for the case of the diagram unakuta kuna kuna track ya kujua so tukianza kujua tunakuwa tuna tuna track ya hapo unaona hizi cartilage na zita C shape cut hapo mi divide napata nini blonkas blonk e blonkas right e left ah unaona e left kimejigawa hapo hapo unakuja kupata bronchioles unaona kokola kula primary bronchus hiyo hapo kuna secondary bronchus afu kuna tertiary tertiary kwa sababu hizo hizo bronchus ana zina level kuna primary secondary tertiary baada hapo nenda kwenye small bronchi kutoka kwenye small bronchi nenda kwenye nini kwenye bronchioles lakini unaweza kaona cartilage unazidi kutoka huko cartilage zinazidi kupungua zinapungua 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 mpaka kufika kwenye bronchioles huko amna kabisa cartilage hizi za blue hizi 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 ndo cartilage hizi kwa au kichi unakuta hakuna kabisa cartilage lakini hata feature nyingine kama hizo smooth math au suicidia hatuwezi tukaziona hapa kwenye diagram lakini ndio hizo features zipo na zina cause la zina pungua au zinaisha kwa style kama ile kwa the end of the day tukitoka kwenye bronchioles terminal bronchioles respiratory bronchioles ukichini tofika kwenye alveolus ini ini alveolus sac aka kamoja ak alveolus ak alveolus so ak alveolus 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 maana kwambia tuna millions of um, alveolus in the lungs So hiyo diagram ilikuwa inaelezea tu a uh, ilikuwa inaelezea tu ile ambavyo tulikuwa tume tumeviona kule nyuma. Hiyo diagram ilikuwa ilikuwa inajaribu ku kutupa mwanga kwamba ilikuwa vina vina maana gani. So also uh, in this diagram uh, it tries to explain uh, in this not see ina inajaribu kuelezea lakini I hope this is not clear kama hii hapa ambayo nime nimeitoa online. So, um unaweza kuona kwenye hizi nusu zangu hapa. Hapa kuna namba moja hadi namba namba sita So vile tu kuna vizungumzia namba moja namba mbili namba tatu namba nne namba tano namba sita Namba moja tu kuna kunazungumzia kwenye kwenye table na kwenye page hiyo vita namba moja kula kokola si shape di cartilage kuna 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 vyote viko pale si shape di cartilage si good bit na siria vyote kwa ina umoja na namba mbili vinapungua namba tatu vinapungua namba nne fika hadi namba sita huku namba kiatu connective tissue uh, collagen ila vile vingine vinakota hadi vimeshapungua sana so this is just the same at the, at this one na hii ndo lungs ambazo zinaonekana this is the anatomic composition of the human lungs. Kwa hiyo unaweza hapa hii ndio inaitwa larynx. Kwa hiyo tofauti kati ya larynx na pharynx. Ukitoka hapo mdomoni kwenye kinyo kwenye oral cavity unapita kwenye pharynx. Ukishapita kwenye pharynx ikifunguka ile epiglottis, ikifunguka tu epiglottis inayofuata ni larynx. Larynx ndio ambayo kwenye ile nyingine inaitwa vocal box au vocal ni vocal box kwa ni kama mfuko ambao sauti ndio yanatokea kwenye larynx kwa ukiwa na shida kwenye larynx ukikuta mtu labda e, anaumwa mafua hawezi kuongea vizuri kwa sababu gani kwa sababu mafua yana affect respiratory system na sauti yanatoka kwenye respiratory system sauti haiti kutumboni eti sauti yanatoka kwenye larynx hiyo vocal box kwa ukipata shida ya larynx ambayo ni vocal box hauwezi kufanya hauwezi kaimba vizuri kuongea vizuri sauti yako kasikia vizuri kwa hata mtu ambaye anapiga sana kelele sio kelele hizi kama za darasa no kelele ya noises let's say ana shout running sinaweza kufanya 
inflammation na ile inflammation kukuta muda kama ameimba siku moja kwa sauti kubwa siku ya pili sauti imekata quite because kuna kuna reaction imetokea kwenye larynx so tukitoka kwenye larynx ndo tunafuata kwenye trachea trachea na tukapo ndo kuna bronchus na vitu kama so lung is surrounded by pleural membranes pleural membranes pleural membranes zina tend to uh, to have a fluid within which protects the the lungs in different ways so e up and left lung ukutako na right lung hapa katikati always wana kanani heart wana kanati so uh, let's continue discussing about the structure for pleura pleura ndo hii membrane unaweza kaiona hapa hii membrane hii ndio tunaita pleura unaona hii hii maana yake ni ya ndani hii hapa ni internal pleural membrane afu hapa ni external pleural membrane hapa katikati huko kuna kitu kinajia kinaitwa pleural fluid jina lake spacing pleural cavity na kuna fluid inajia inaitwa pleural fluid tena kuona uko mbele kwenye kwenye mambo ya uh, pleural effusion however sio kwa level yenu so uh, kama watu tutakao interested kwenye medicine tutakuja kusoma mambo ya pleural effusion kwenye pleural effusion ni pathological condition ambayo fluid inakuwa imejaa kwenye kwenye huyo eh, kwenye huyo pleura so uh, kuna discussion ya, ya structure for alveolar sap lakini uh, nataka tumalize kabisa pleura ili tutakapenda alveolus alveolus tunavyom discuss alveolus tunamaliza moja kwa moja ligations exchange so uh, let me add the notes for the pleura so uh, uh, let's uh, finish our discussion by discussing with the pleura cavity each lung is surrounded by a pleura cavity this is the space lined by two tough flexible transparent pleural membranes so these protect the lungs stop them leaking out air into the thoracic cavity and they reduce friction between the lungs and the wall of the thorax so pleural uh, pleural membranes they are very important in reducing the in reducing the the friction between the lungs and the thoracic wall also they, they 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 prevent leakage of air from the lungs to the thoracic cavity the inner membrane is in contact with the lungs reach the outer membrane lines the wall of the thorax and the diaphragm so the pleural cavity contains pleural fluid which is secreted by the membranes which lubricates the pleura thus reducing friction at the membranes rub against the, each other during breathing movement i am just running faster because this part is not is not normal asked in the exam so uh, i am just teaching so as to increase your uh, your competence na kuweza kujua lakini kimsingi tu ni kwamba hii part hauwezi kuuliza swala moja kwa moja kwenye mtihani kwamba pleural cavity labda ni nini so uh, I, i i hope mtakao mnanielewa tu kwa nini kwa nini na, na run faster kwa sababu vitu vingine ambavyo vina umuhimu there is no need to lose time ni kuna vitu ambavyo tuta tuta discuss for, for long time so kwa kumalizia kuhusu hiyo pleura malizia kuhusu hiyo pleura na so <laughs> tunasema kwamba the cavity is airtight and it is pressure stays at 3 to 4 mm of mercury lower than that in the lungs 3 to 4 mimi to make it lower kwa pressure kwenye pleura lazima iwe ndogo kuliko ile kwenye lungs lakini kama pressure kwenye pleura ikiongezeka hapo lazima compression kwenye lungs itatokea na shida itatokea this negative pressure is maintained during expiration and help the alveolus to inflate and the lungs to fill an extra available space provided by the expanding thorax kwa hiyo uh, pleura inasaidia sana kwenye expansion during gaseous exchange so in the next session atutaanza hapo kwenye metabolic rate
Next session to discuss the structure of alveolus. Na jinsi gani ambapo fugesha exchange inatokea kwenye alveolus. So alveolus ni kile kijacho. Baada hapo ndio tutafanya metabolic rate. Thank you.